Guten morning, everybody. Today is Friday, also Friday the 13th. Today is the day that we hopefully get everything situated and be able to fire the bus engine up. So there are a couple things that are being done right now. The hitch is being getting another uh, bracket welded on to make sure that we have no issues with it. To be able to go pick up the alternator today. That's the last thing that needs to be installed. We should be able to hear this bad boy uh, turn over and at least run a little bit. Today is the day. Boom, new guy in the truck. We just got it from Husky. Really appreciate those guys. Really hooked us up. The regular looks fantastic. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. That's a good boy. <laughs> he said, I got you. Putting in some custom bracketry here. It fits perfect. Nice. So we're finalizing up a couple of things now. All right, air cooler, radiator is all installed. All the belts are here. This belt isn't gonna stay. This is a spare backup. It doesn't have as many bands, but it's a little backup guy. The trans cooler still needs to be installed over there. Getting her road ready. I don't think there's anything that we're missing at all. Even if it was ready to go, today's Friday the 13th. I don't know if we should even try our luck at a startup on Friday the 13th. Semi truck with no engine moving. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Monday, it's time to go. We came in here because we had to custom fit trans cooler bracket in place. So the old motor had the motor mount here at a lower height. We're gonna hope that this height change doesn't affect us too much, but we'll see. So here's our trans cooler bracket right here. Bow, bow. This whole thing, it'll sit on top of these. And so we had to custom make these, extend these U-bolts here. So these U-bolts go down and around and hold the frame on. So then we put a little spacer in there to be able to give this, to be able to put this bracket on, which will give us a slight lift over this motor mount and allow us to put the trans cooler on here. What's nice is that this is also on like a mount. So you can see that it'll kind of slowly move so that way it doesn't, the trans cooler doesn't eat any of the vibration from the motor. And that way we can start getting all the pipe in here. What just went on right here, dude. What happened? Oh, I told him how to hold the battery down. Oh no, bro. And the boss pants. On a bolt? Oh, no, on the battery bolt. Oh, look at that. What? Hold, hold that thing in place? <laughs> hold the battery down. Oh, yeah. No, that's solid. Oh, baby. Close, close. Power steering pump needs fluid. It's not down for a nice, man. Heck yeah, dude. You said it was power steering. You said the belts are loose too? They stop on a dime now? That sounds great. That'll show you all the parameters where RPM's running, what's idling, how much the oil pressure is, just different. Sh so we'll be able to see a readout of it on and things like that from, right from the computer? Uh-huh. Jot it down, then you clear everything. All right, so now it's time to fill antifreeze in here. We have all lines connected, everything besides one electrical connection. So there was some bad news bears that happened. Right here is the ECM. Right? Wires plug right into that. Well, the problem is, is that, see that? That is not supposed to look like that. That one right there? That one is also not supposed to look like that. So they actually got blown off. The block blew up. So now we have to redo those connections. Besides filling stuff, it's the last thing we gotta do. Fingers crossed, y'all. Things have gone almost according to plan. As we're filling, right? We got a little pump, goes all the way up. We've had a couple leaks. So first up, I was really dumb. And this right here is a temperature sensor. Ping, ping. And I left it unhooked. So coolant was literally just pouring out of there. Not a good time. 
we had some issues on the back of the trans cooler here. Whoa, a little dark for you guys. So there was a leak on that back side there for that hose clamp. So I tighten that guy up, we're good to go. And then there was a few other loose hose clamps as we were going. This guy was loose right here. Fix that up. You can see we were pooling a little bit right here, right on top of it. So this guy was loose, got that tightened up. So yeah, so now we're gonna finish filling her up. Okay, you ready? Literally exploded into pieces. Really don't have any option. I don't have an engine. I said I would never sell it, but. but. If we got another bus and we wanted to, we'll do that the same. Okay, so it is one o'clock in the morning. We are doing some small troubleshooting. Transmission is giving us an error telling us that it's not able to shift, which could mean a bunch of different issues, but I went through and cleaned up all of the wiring, redid all the connections, made sure everything was good, made sure that there was nothing dirty, there was no missing wires, making sure there's no like broken ends or exposed copper or anything, those things like that. Now we're gonna give it a fire up. It's one o'clock in the morning. One cool way that you can fire this guy up is right from the box here. Here. Turn on service lights. Shooing. Service lights. We can also prick this on remote control. It's either front start, off, or rear start. It's gonna be an off for now. We have engine in the on position. There's engine off. And we're gonna fire it up. That's a nice fire up right there. It's been doing this do not shift almost immediately. Check out our sweet camera setup. Boom, do not shift, not there anymore. Truth be told, there was two wires that were reversed. I didn't mean for that to happen. Luckily I got the wiring diagram and realized that there was the output speed sensor and I think it was the turbine speed sensor. They're both roughly the same length and they look identical. And I think I had them flopped because colors were different according to the wiring diagram. So I think we're gonna call that a win for now. We need to take this bad boy off our test drive. Look there. Boom. 50 for oil, 63. That's 63 gallons, if anybody's wondering. It's not 63% full. Well, that would be cool. Unfortunately, our temperature sensor isn't working. It's not 20 degrees. It is cold, but it's not that cold. Now that we have that situated, next on to the alternator, because it's refurbished and all the things for us and it shredded a belt. That's not what we want. So now we have to do some diagnostic work on it to see what's really happening. The bus is outside of the shop. She's all hooked up, truck is ready to go. It is currently midnight. We need to get to Arizona. It's time for the last push. Time for us to get there. Look at this. This is where we've been. Whoop. We got all of our things. I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff that we forgot because you know, that's what we do. And I'm sure my face is trashed because that's what I do. I get under the bus. This is it. Mechanic here has been 
extremely nice. John, honestly, thank you. We can never thank you enough. This has been a lifetime of experiences and gratitude, work, and all the things, man. And we appreciate you so much. We don't know what we could do without you. We're gonna lock up your shop. Call it a day, man. We'll see you around. This is like our place now. I feel like we've kind of owned the place. Used to run security. Now, it's not gonna have the security anymore. So it's dark in the truck, but the sun is actually starting to come up. It is currently 10 to six, or I'm sorry, 10 to seven. And I'm driving in the truck instead of the bus right now. Not because of anything with the bus right now. Dustin was driving his bus behind us. He ran out of gas. We drove the bus to the next service area, filled up the gas tanks, jumped in the truck, ran out here to pick them up. Now we are on our way back to the bus. We are still trying to get to Arizona today. Dustin. Dustin's rig does a little bit better than ours does climbing up these hills. We are officially in Quartzite. It has taken us well over 24 hours after multiple issues, and multiple different things, but we are finally here and it is exciting. But it is also 3.30 in the morning and I am exhausted. I'm gonna go take a little cat nap and then wake up and party tomorrow. Berkeley here is going potty, right bud? Berkles. Berkeley. Go potty, bro. I think he smells a bunch of other dogs. Shaking. It's so cold. So we're getting close. We've had to wait in a line. Look how long this line is. It's all the dump at Quartzite. We got probably another 10 minutes or so. And then we gotta go get Dustin. He had a belt break on him yesterday. Last night, late. Now we're gonna drive out to Nevada. That sounds far to go get him. But I mean, honestly, like, it's just nice being in warm weather. It's so much nicer than dealing with cold and all that. Okay, just when we think we were good to go. Got it dumped, right? Waited in that line, got it dumped, all that stuff. But now look at it. See those on the ground? We had to tow it out of there. Wanna know how we had to tow it out of there? It's not running right now. I lied. The engine is running, right? The engine would do everything that it was supposed to do. And what it sounds like is, is there's a plate between the transmission and the engine, and it's held on by 12 bolts. When it went in there, everything seemed fine, but what it sounds like is it seems like that plate might have broke because what's happening is that the starter is turning and this plate is supposed to spin as well and that's what actually spins on the engine side of it the starter spins does all of its stuff the engine doesn't spin at all like that connection isn't there so now i'm gonna have to go we're gonna tow this thing back to the spot because we are about a mile away from where our spot is and start working on her fun just when i thought i was done they pull me back in we got our friends project trek right here Towing the bus back to the spot. Let's go, Project Trek, let's go. We gotta try and get it back before the uh, air gets released all out of the system. Once the air is all out of the system, we're pretty much done for. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'll then help to air up the parking system and then we'll have to go from there, but it's it sucks, but it's doable. 